Creating a team in Dragon Hair Seven Ghosts is with crucial importance in your progress. Now, back in the days when I started playing this game, that is before one year and something, I was just looking which hero is doing more percentage damage, but there is a lot in building the team. That's why I just decided to share my experience in this video and actually provide you with some information or at least second opinion that you can take in account and when you build your team and the biggest help i actually get was from one person that was from usa that currently is not playing anymore but he shared absolutely great tips this guy was in top five percent on the temporal vortex and he was close to free to play there was just small things that he was buying and not spending that much uh in the game so i'm going to even share you this type of information that I think is a little personal that I, I don't want to share, but who cares? Let's just share information. So yeah, if you have some good tips also, you can write it in the comments below. And don't forget to hit one like on the video if you actually enjoy the video and you get some value. The first thing first, we all know that this season, uh, every season, we have different elementals. And by elemental power, I mean currently in the season one is fire with poison. Maybe I should go and uh, show you that. Uh, I like to actually check them from here. This season is fire with poison. We have also lightning radiance and of course ice and necrosis. I think everybody already know these things, <laughs> especially if you're an old player in the Drown Hair Seven Gods. You already know this thing, but in general, at the beginning, since there's going to be people who is just at the beginning playing Drown Hair Seven Ghosts, so if if there is something that uh, you already know, sorry about that. Just you know, some people may actually not know this information. So the first thing and most important thing is building your team. Of course. The way you're going to build your team is going to strongly depend on the summons. And currently, for example, you get and do some like five summons and maybe you get some good heroes here. Oh, I even get the epic one. Uh, so from there, there is a good heroes. Maybe I'm going to make some separate video about best rare heroes, best epic heroes or best heroes in general. But if you don't combine this hero the good way, these heroes are still good, but it's not their full potential. So we have to take care of this elemental affinity in count when we build our team. So right now, if I get, maybe I'm going to share some of the heroes that I have. For example, right now I run with the frost one. Since uh, I have uh, this, this bad boy, Lekander, and this guy is doing big amount of damage now i'm not going to go that much in details about each hero and how good it is but i start with the frost this is the other hero that i also leveled it up the main reason i go with those heroes is that they're multiple target hitters and this is with crucial importance people know that at the beginning most likely you should go for multiple hitting target heroes for example like this one uh, 600 cold damage applying frost this is some debuff um infected frost and extra damage to uh, targets that already have uh, infected with the frost so this hero is good for some debuffs and also hitting multiple targets the main reason i go with multiple targets hitter team at the beginning is just because i'm going to do goblin lair award this is the place where you're going to spend like 60 or 70 percent okay not 60 or 70 percent but at the beginning till, till, till you build your team most likely is going to be 70 percent from your stamina and later most likely you're going to focus over the gear and start doing grave of venom or maybe grave of rot any kind of of this uh type of dungeons just to gear up but at the beginning is going to be goblin lair so it depends on which stage you are currently in your game when you watch this video. But if you're like me at the beginning, most likely uh, multiple target hitters is going to be the best pick. And from here come the power of the keyword team. When you make a team that is 
for specific job for specific job uh it, it's not about the heroes it's for specific job you you have to know what you're looking for what you want to do are you looking to kill in the goblin lair to get in the hard stages are you want to go for temporal vortex and make on a single target big damage i mean this or even for progression since there's a chief challenge or you can just uh, kill random mobs on the battlefield i mean uh in the zones you have to know the purpose and as i already mentioned the beginning is going to be multiple target later to create the other keyword team because you're going to need couple keyword teams most likely is going to be a single target hitter and there everyone is uh, how to say it every team e every let's say fraction or every elemental affinity have specific strong team and i'm going to give example for example fire you have burn units you also have wild burn, uh, wild units burn units is more for multiple targets wild units is more for a single target so may maybe also here i can go for maybe here it didn't actually matter almost every have a single target or multiple target maybe for the lightning is not like this but in general you have to keep this in mind so depending on the purpose um, uh, you, you should go for multiple or single target uh, teams now one thing i have to mention before i go uh, more in deep with this is something that i actually buy and it was from the store i actually buy this uh for 99 cent um bundle with the epic heroes and from there i actually select the best hero that is going to help me in my progress and this is garios now I was thinking between Gorosh and Garios, but Garios is going to be the tank that is very tanky, do a huge amount of healing and have a stacks of defense, healing over time if I remember correctly, uh, he, uh, HP, hit recovery, restore HP when being attacked. This hero is just going to help you in general in Drown Hair Silent God. So maybe this is one of my suggestions to maybe get this... Uh, 99 cents uh, bundle since it, and to get Gario since this hero is helping a lot. Now this hero can be combined with everything. I have to mention that um, with basically everything, <laughs> basically everything, uh, and it's going to help you in any place. It can be for, for example, temporal vortex. You don't need a hero there. You don't need a tank. Uh, a tank. Garius is taking care for everything and he have this defense aura that is in all battles. It's not for single battle, it's in all battles. So I strongly suggest people get this hero. Or if you have him already, maybe Boresh is going to be the other one since he's hitting the whole map. And at the same time is applying the buff prohibition, which is something that can help your secret later when you get her i think secret is one of the must-have heroes especially for the single targets even for multiple targets since she's hitting with ultimate all the targets that is having some kind of debuff but yeah this just little suggestion <laughs> go and get garius so from there the way i actually built my team since i really don't know what kind of heroes you have you may have strong heroes you may even have a legendary heroes uh, it didn't actually matter the point is just build a team around your best legions most likely in the future i'm going to make some video best legendary best epic heroes best rare heroes uh that may actually give you some hints which heroes most likely is going to be the good one and somehow to build a team supporting these strong heroes because let's be honest in the drown here seven gods the the hero that is going to do the big damage most likely is going to be one a single hero or maybe two one or two heroes so having this information that you have to boost the power of one or two heroes everything around these two heroes let's say two heroes is is a support heroes it's a support heroes that is going to boost the damage that is going to 
maybe give alignment or accuracy or whatever or attack speed or whatever everything is the other three heroes most of the times 80 percent is a uh, boosters for this one or two heroes now knowing that just focus over the best hero you have the most strong hero and if you have a chance combine him with one, one more very strong hero and build everything around them as uh, supports tanks healers blah 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 and that's why i suggest garios because this bad boy is a healer also a tank great healer great tank and this cover two plays from your team you don't need to have separate healer here that's why i strongly suggest uh, just getting this bad boy but anyway this is going to be your keyword team don't look all your five heroes to actually do big damage because most likely it's not going to happen look for one or two heroes that is going to do the main damage like maybe five times more from rest of the heroes in in your party on your team and make the other heroes boost these two heroes so here uh, right now is strongly uh, depends what kind of heroes you have do you have uh, some good heroes are you going to make a summon the good thing in the drown here summon gods you get tons of summon i'm free to play okay not free to play because i buy this bundle for 99 cents but as you can see i already have 23 helioid dice and i make a lot of these starlight stone dice i get some epic heroes that some of them are good some of them not good uh, i get also some rare heroes but in general my point is the game provides you with a lot of chance to do some kind of summons and with those summons you can basically build your team now there is six uh element elements and you just have to see what kind of elemental affinity are right now and it can, i'm in the season one so lightning uh with radiance here is uh fire with uh, poison here is frost with uh, necrotic so it's like this so i really hope for now you like the video and make sure to subscribe to this channel because i make this type of video sometimes with real example not just showing some heroes and talk here and also like if you get the value and final tip i can actually give is about the gear now about the gear is something that uh, I'm going to make a separate video, but in general, the gear can make one hero crazy. Can make one hero do massive, massive damage, especially artifacts. But boy, artifacts are not that easy to be get. It. I mean, you can get the easy one. By easy one, I mean epic one. I already have 72. I should pick my first artifact from here. But the really hard one is the mythic one especially some of them require specific hero chart if i remember right uh what is this thing okay the mythic gear is the game changer but legendary is also a good one if i have to be honest but yeah there is also exclusive one which <laughs> uh is even more hard to be get it but it is what it is it is what it is so again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. See you in the next video.